You know, even if you're like me, you don't know a whole lot about wine. Like me, you probably know that it takes time to make fine wine. It takes time. There are certain varieties of wine that are aged to perfection. Oh yeah, and one local winemaker takes that notion to a whole other level. You see, he spent years perfecting his wine before he made it available to sell. And now, a trip to Bordelo Vineyards and Winery combines that perfect wine with a perfect waterfront setting. Tom and Lisa Shelton have turned their passion for wine into a business. A business Tom started when he bought a farm along the Wicomico Creek. The previous owners were growing corn and soybeans, and I didn't think I wanted to do that. But I am a farmer at heart, so um, I decided to try uh, growing grapes. Tom started with one acre in 1999, but would eventually add 13 more. The decision to use the crops for a commercial winery didn't come until he was sure he could perfect all that it takes to make really good wines. Well, a lot of it's trial and error. Um, I started making wine as a home winemaker in 2000. Uh, the very first vintage from vines I planted in 99. But, um, and I kept doing that each and every year. It wasn't until 2006 that Tom sought its commercial license that would turn his hobby into a business. He started with Chardonnay, Chamberson, Vidal Blanc, Merlot, and Cabernet Franc. And then over the years, I kept adding other varieties. Today, we have 12 different varieties of uh, grapes that we grow here. Bordelot now offers 20 different wine varieties. That's because in addition to the 12 grapes, wine is made here with strawberries, peaches, and apples. And then there are the wine blends. Uh, for instance, our Meritage is a blend of four of our red varieties. Um, that's one of our most popular red wines, so that gives you an additional wine. Uh, we make a unoaked and oaked Chardonnay, so that's two instead of one. Um, uh, we did a sparkling wine, which we're almost out of now. Uh, we're doing a port, which we should bottle within the next week or so. Uh, that's taking a, a variety that, like Chamberson, and Merlot and making a second wine out of that variety. So that's sort of how you end up with more than 12 varieties of wine. Originally, the wine was made in the basement of Tom's home. Today, it's made in what used to be a farm storage building. The front of the facility is a wine tasting room. In the very beginning, as a home winemaker, I was making wine and giving it to my friends because I couldn't sell it and didn't try to sell it, but uh, sort of began to build a following. And then uh, we went to uh, the Pemberton Wine Festival in the early years, and people really liked our wine, so that sort of encouraged us to, to go further. Tom says the seven dry red wines made at Bordelot are the most popular here. We do uh, Cab Sauv, Cab Franc, Petit Verdot, Malbec, uh, Merlot, Chamberson, and then we do a Meritage, which is a blend of four of those. The name Bordelot means the water's edge, which describes the location of the vineyards. But being located in this beautiful yet very rural area creates its own challenges. That's, one, that's been one of our difficulties um, in the fact that we're a destination, that we're not uh, in an area where a lot of people are passing every day. Uh, we're five miles off of 13, but still, if people don't know we're here, our sign's pretty small, and if they're going very fast, they go right by it. But, Tom adds, once people do find Bordelot, they keep coming back. Bordelot Vineyards and Winery also provides a venue for weddings, baby showers, bridal showers, and other special occasions, and offers live entertainment in the tasting room. As Bordelot has evolved over the years, so have trends in wine. Tom says there's a lot of interest in sweeter wines. Uh, we started making those, and especially at festivals, we find that uh, a lot of the people that attend those festivals are younger and they tend to prefer sweet. So that was a trend that I couldn't have predicted. And that's not the only surprise for Tom. Although he puts quality above all else in his winemaking, he's humbled by the success and what the hobby turned business brings him. In fact, he's having fun. Well, 
Yes, I, I, I love uh, working outside especially. Um, so yeah, I'm having, I'm enjoying what I do. It's keeping me young. And Bordelow has a wine club. Membership benefits include special barrel tastings, exclusive food and wine gatherings, free wine tastings when visiting the winery, and 15% off future wine purchases. If you'd like some more information on how to join, go to our website, domarvalife.com. Click on What's Happening Today. That is a really neat place. It is a beautiful place. Oh, my goodness.